that wasn't as crunchy as you were anticipating? I know I have, and I've made my fair share of them as well. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a crunchy dill pickle out of cucumbers. This morning, I had multiple things going in the, in the kitchen. I had my second batch of yellow uh, relish, yellow squash relish going. And before I got that going, I went ahead and sliced all of the cucumbers into spears. So this is about eight to 10 pounds of cucumber spears, and they've been soaking in cold salt water a good portion of the day. So I'm gonna start by draining these and then we'll get started making the pickle brine. Just gonna drain it into the sink. We're just going to leave those in there for now, but you can see the pot is full. In this pot, I have two quarts of water, and to that, we're going to add two quarts of white vinegar. This is a gallon jug, so I need half of it. That's good. To this mixture, I'm going to add a cup of coarse kosher salt. You could use pickling salt as well. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of turmeric. So you have that nice yellow color that pickles normally have. Stir that up. And I have it sitting on an electric burner here on the countertop. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on high. And like any other pickling recipe, we're gonna bring this to a boil. We're gonna let this come to a boil, but in the meantime, we're gonna start packing our jars with our pickle spears. So let me grab some jars and we'll start doing that. All right, let's put these pickle spears in the jars. I'm using quart jars, because that's all I have left. My pickle spears are in the sink in this big stock pot. Once all the spears are put in the jars, then we will put the brine over top and add a few more things to each jar. Soaking your cucumbers in the salt water, in the cold salt water for several hours, helps maintain the little crunch that we all desire in a good pickle. So that's why they set so long in the cold salt water. I just kept adding some ice to it throughout the morning as I was working in the kitchen just to make sure it was good and cold. You could also soak them in the salt water overnight and keep them in the refrigerator and then drain them the next morning. Okay, that jar's full.
of pickles out of that batch. And to each jar, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of dill. of minced garlic. Then we're going to add a couple of just whole black peppercorns. Make sure it was brought to a boil and now we're going to fill the jars. You want to fill them just to the bottom of the neck of the jar. Now that they're filled, we're going to wipe the rims of the jars off so we can put the lids on. These are going to process in the water bath canner for 10 minutes. I've brought the jars over here to the water bath canner. This water is still hot from when I canned my second batch of relish this morning. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this on high and wait for it to come back to the boil. But the water is one to two inches over the top of the jars. We'll just put the lid on and wait for it to boil. The water is boiling. We're going to start the timer for 10 minutes. The pickles are ready to come out. Turn the heat off. And I usually let the boiling settle down a little bit before I lift the rack up. Just go ahead and lift these out onto a towel. They look really good. 
I like the color of them. I'll just let these set here to cool down, probably until morning, and then I'll label them and put them downstairs with the rest of all of our canned goods. So that's how you make crunchy dill pickles here in the country. That's how we do it here on Outdoors and Country Living anyway. Fairly simple recipe to follow. There's not a lot to it. Just time and throwing it all together and then processing it in the water bath canner. But pickles, we like to enjoy them as a healthy snack alongside of a sandwich for lunch or just because. So hopefully you can make some pickles now if you haven't ever done so. But these will be a nice treat in the winter and in months to come. So thanks again for stopping by My Country Kitchen and moving one step closer to stepping up my canning game this year. Thanks so much again for watching and stopping by today. Be sure you stay tuned to our channel. We are gonna actually go out this evening and start digging up our potatoes. So the potato harvest video will be coming out very soon. In the next few days, hopefully, we can get that thrown together amongst everything else we're trying to do. So thanks again. Be sure to share our videos with friends and other people that you know. Like them and make sure you subscribe. We've got more to come. You guys all take care and stay healthy out there. We'll see you later.